the most wanted man in professional wrestling, Nick Nemeth. Yes, WWE alum Dolph Ziggler. Come on, though. We all know him. We could know him, too, as Nick Nemeth. So there you go. This is like a huge event. World Wrestling Council, WWC. We know that with the history of the legend Carlos Colon in Puerto Rico. He decided, you know what? This is what I want to do for my first indie match after the big run, the great run he had with WWE. This is WWC Euphoria. How euphoric is it when you have this man on the card in the main I mean, event? Clearly. Yes, in the main event, he's going up against Ray Gonzalez Saturday, January 20th. You can see it on Triller TV via Fight TV. Amazing event. Hey, Matt Stryker's doing commentary, Nemeth. Whoa, sick. I remember him when he was uh, – <laughs> A school teacher with uh, WWE CW. I remember that. <laughs> so, hey, what's what's this like? How did you get involved with WWC? What made you want to get involved with WWC? Um, so I, I joke around with a bunch of uh, people and answers. and I, I'm a smart mouth most of the time. Um, but something that a lot of people don't totally understand is that when someone asks me who my favorite wrestler is, they're always like, you know, they name their Mount Rushmore people. I'm not joking when I say, I mean, well, our truth gets a lot of love from me also, but Primo is one of the best wrestlers in the world. And that's not a joke. It's not a gag. It's not, he's awesome. Um, him and I, a long time ago, old, old, long time ago on a live event, there was a bunch of travel issues for people and uh, four people from our roster made it. It was Primo, myself, and a referee and someone else. And they said, hey, until anybody arrives, we need the two of you to go out there and go. As, it might be 10 minutes. It might be 45 minutes. It might be an hour and a half. We need you to, to entertain these people till everybody gets to the airport. And Primo was an absolute pro. I was a lot younger at the time. And, you know, he has that blood in him that just passed down from generations, just being smooth in the ring. And I learned that day that he is one of the best wrestlers in the world. And that really made me happy mentally, physically, everything. When I really think it helps when you're second and third generation to have that down, that bloodline come through. Um, I, I, he's so good. So someone that I used to, you know, hang out with on the bus and you know, everyone's you know, traveling tours and doing things. Uh, just a good guy who loves wrestling and having him reach out as soon as I uh, left WWE. And I said, absolutely. And plus a chance to go to Puerto Rico. Like, come on, give me a break. This is so cool. And what do you know about, I'm sure you've been to Puerto Rico with WWE or have you been to Puerto Rico before? What is it like down there? That fan base is just so hot down there. It's crazy. That's what's really cool about it. Like uh, sometimes different States have different, crowds and different reactions you know what to expect but I, and i have been to puerto rico with wwe a handful of times but um again everything i'm doing right now is for the first time outside of that bubble so you go there and you get to uh, experience it in just a slightly different way you know not um you're putting things together and like you're like hey do you want to come do this show do you want to be here and you figure things out but man i mean that uh, the island just everybody as i was growing up even Ru, uh robert rudy used to tell me about like you know he he got to train there and be in some matches as a younger guy and really learn a lot of different things. But the crowds are so intense. They're so fun. They love it. And uh, it, it's really, I love when you can go someplace that you're not usually at throughout the year and be able to feed off of a, a fan base that just wants to watch awesome wrestling. And hopefully I can deliver for them. Well, you mentioned Primo and when I, outstanding talent from the clone family but i'm going to say this what an outstanding talent you are i've seen you i mean many matches but i remember you and miz in miami house show steel cage match you guys tore it down it was crazy i'm like all right this is not a pay-per-view or whatever we call today streaming and these guys going crazy not just that many more nick yeah. how do you feel now how do you feel today you look in great shape what has it been like for you uh first of all let me comment on that i i rarely remember matches uh unless someone reminds me something, but someone else just talked to me last week and said, they mentioned that same tour. Uh, it was Miz and myself. It was a holiday tour, I believe. It was, and, uh, it was. We were, we were in steel page matches. And at the time we were, uh, I gravitate towards people who want more and who want to like, uh, Miz was like, you know, he's doing things outside of the business just to make himself a bigger draw for WWE. And I, and uh, Zach Ryder and, John Morrison, we all constantly were trying to find our different ways just to give ourselves another extra step and get one more set of eyes 
on a, what we we're doing at WWE at the time. And it's just, we all gravitated towards each other because we really wanted to be great. And when you're out there with a friend, you extra beat the hell out of each other. And it makes it so much more fun. And it's just something that I was always, we're always competing together. Miz always caught the breaks, but we were constantly competing together and always trying to outdo each other. So you can say like, oh, it's a live event or it's a house show, whatever you want to call it. You know, we didn't see it that way. We saw it as we have a chance to steal the show, which is something that I always got to do, but Miz was out there with me, so he got to be a part of it, blah, blah, blah. But it was just, we wanted to go, we wanted to give the fans their money's worth and have people walking out of there talking about that match. And we've done that a, a lot of times. And uh, just, I remember that cage, that cage match tour, man. We really went above and beyond, and I, uh, I appreciate that. And uh, Miz is starting to finally get, you know, so, some pats on the back uh, around the world for being a good wrestler. I, it took him 15, 20 years, but hey, he's catching up. That's fine. Yeah, I know. It's, it's taking him a little more time. So, I mean, yeah. come on. Hey, hey, we give him credit. Not everybody's the fast learner. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> hey, and two Ohio guys, too. Hell yeah. Uh, we we never bumped into each other uh, once. And uh, and I you met him in WWE. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You never made it to the sub shop? You never made it to the sub shop. Come on. No, no, no. Hang on. Hang on a second. I went to Mr. Hero all the time. I did not. Th there's not just one. And uh, also, he wasn't always in there. But we, uh, after becoming friends and going do up and down the road and wrestling for years, one time we were headed home for Thanksgiving or something, and he goes, "Hey, you want to catch a ride with me?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." He, <laughs> I'm like, I thought he was going to to my house. He's going to his house. We were one exit apart from him. We grew up same age, same friends, same people, same bars, clubs, places to go. One exit away, like seven minutes apart. And I never bumped into him once, so I was very lucky until that point. Well, that's what I was going to say. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I know it's how you look at it. A little it, bit so. of both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got Ray Gonzalez in the main event of WWC yeah. Euphoria on Saturday, January 20th, Triller TV via Fight TV. Matt, Ray is unbelievable, brings it, tough, physical. What's it like for you? You've never backed down from a physical fight. No, absolutely not. And uh, I pride myself on the last since uh, man since grade school and high school. I have been doing circuit training just to keep me wiry and sinewy, and like constantly having fresh legs and different ways and like core strength to compete wrestling in high school at like a national level and even college at a national level. And I kept those workouts and I kept that same type of stamina to this day and that helps me wear down bigger stronger guys and uh i feel like that really comes into play here because clearly he's a legend he's gone out of his way to win titles be a big star but me making my way there alone this time you know on my own trying to stand up and say he listen i want to go around the world as the best you've seen me do some things and you've seen me hang around for the last couple of years. I've been biding my time waiting. And you, and you probably hear my voice. I'm like ready to jump out of the chair. Like, I want to get going. I want to see myself up against people that they say that they're the best or that the world says are the best. And I will be facing off every damn one I can. And this is the first way to do it. I love it. WWC euphoria in the main event. You don't just get to get handed a main event and walk out there and hope that everyone remembers you for the last 20 years. No, no, no. I go out there to raise the bar and be better and have everyone go, I need to come back next time to see him do this again. And you better believe that's going to happen. You're also going to be able to see him, New Japan Pro Wrestling, doing things there. TNA, Impact Wrestling, now TNA Wrestling, going back to that, doing things there. And we're going to wrap this up. I got to say this, because on this WWC Euphoria card in Puerto Rico, you're going to see a great card. Matt Cardona, who you mentioned on the card, just saw him at Fort Lauderdale, NWA, working with CCW, a show down here. That was great. Steve Macklin, Chris Adonis, Natalia Mar Markova is also got many, many greats on the card. And then obviously in Puerto Rico, WWC talent card. But I got to ask you this one. I got to ask you this one. How about this, Namath? How about this one? You're the most wanted man. Are we going to see the second most wanted man, Ryan Nemeth, on this card? You better believe it, brother. Um, he, well, he's more the, the fifth most wanted man in the family, but still second most wanted. That's pretty good. Second most wanted. I could see him with a shirt, maybe a little trophy. No, no. As uh, I, I'm, I'm very lucky. My brother is also really good at wrestling and has been working at other companies and doing millions of things 
while I while I've been plugging away at my job. So it's very cool to the next couple months and years to be getting in the ring with him, being on the same card as him, maybe tagging here and there, making things special. And uh, the two of us walking out at New Japan Pro Wrestling after keeping it a nice secret under wraps was one of the coolest things uh, that we've done. And that's just the beginning. We're just getting going. So yes, Ryan Nemeth will be on this card and. Uh, Hopefully he can come through and steal the show. Not quite as good as me, but second most wanted man. It's a pretty good shirt. Yeah, you know, it's curious too. And I know we got to get you out of here, but like you mentioned, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Have you and Ryan worked a lot together? Or no, because you were always doing your WWE thing and he was always doing his thing. Well, those are our jobs. But yes, we still uh, constantly do comedy shows together, roll around in the ring together, come up with ideas together. He's writing movies and scripts and doing different things together. He wrote this awesome movie that we put together in 36 hours of filming just to get it out there for when I got released back into the wild to let everybody know like, hey, here's a cool zombie movie with an action hero. Now we're off and running. So uh, he, he did a, a great deal of the work for there. So he's constantly doing things. And the, what I'm jealous about is he's in LA. I'm in Phoenix. So I'm just a quick little 45 minute flight away, but he's constantly getting up and getting on stage and doing just a little bit more comedy and movie stuff than I'd like to be. So we have a nice little back and forth, you know, you know, kind of a going head to head against each other, trying to get more work in just to be able to outdo the other one. So what it's a great measuring stick to have constantly going at it and just trying to make each other better. Damn it. Thank you so much. I got to end with this. So he's doing the comedy clubs in LA. Ah, you got the comedy clubs in Phoenix. Ah, who, who needs LA then? <laughs> but i love the comedy store they've been so great to us we've we sold the room out in there a couple times so i i there is a there, i have some friends there too but yes of course i i've been very grateful uh phoenix has been so kind to me giving us chances for shows and different things like that it's just fun to bounce around and check out a new new area you know all the best wwc it's going to be euphoria saturday january 20th truly tv via fight tv this man still brings it. Unbelievable talent in the ring. He said, you, yeah, you never listen to me. You look at everybody else on social media, talk about him and his talent. And by the way, for the record, you were not let go. You would ask for your release. I did read about that as well. I'm, I'm good on that. We're going to end it right here, but I'm good on that as well. Mr. Nick Nemeth. Hey, uh, I've had a, a, a great career and this second half is going to be extra special to me because I got to start from ground zero and earn it again. So I can't wait, man. Thank you so much. You got it.